Hi Virgo, we're gonna get straight to your reading. We're gonna find out how does your person in mind feel about you right now. Spirits and angels, please show me. Four of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Your person could be feeling dissatisfied right now or that they could be feeling that you are dissatisfied with them. Something about feeling rejected. They may be feeling rejected by you. Um, we've got the Star here, the Temperance and the Ten of Swords. So your person in mind is actually feeling really low, really down. And um, they could be going through healing and recovery right now with the Temperance and the Star. However, they could also be feeling that you are going through healing and recovery right now and perhaps they have made you really sad. Um, there's a separation energy here, Ten of Swords. Perhaps you and this person has ended, your connection with this person has ended. And Virgo, it kind of feels like with the star, the temperance, I, I definitely feel that they think you are a missed opportunity because they actually feel like you are a good person but something along the line with the four of wands here and reverse five of swords and reverse ah uh, this is what i'm getting here they feel like you are untouchable because the star and the temperance feels like your vibration compare uh compares to this person is definitely different you vibe really really high while they vibe really low so they may think you are out of their league and that you are again untouchable that's what i'm getting here and the king of cups they have feelings for you or that they do care about you we've got the queen of wands they feel like if you look at the king and the queen the queen is looking towards this way and the king is looking towards the queen of wands so they feel like you're looking towards the future um possibly turning your back on them because well in a way the queen of wands um i'm not saying the back is facing the king of cups but the face is looking the other way not looking at the king of cups so in a way uh it does feel like they feel you're powerful now and that that you're more powerful than them and for some reason the king the way the king looks at this this queen here is like full of admiration full of respect um just because maybe you stood up for yourself, maybe you spoke your mind, perhaps you're not really paying attention to them and you're paying attention to your future, your well-being here with the uh, temperance and the star. Yeah, that's what I'm getting here for your reading of Virgo. Your person generally feels that you are untouchable yeah and the page of pentacles here is in reverse and we've got the sun so they're seeing things very clearly now for who you are um and the sun also is a very positive energy but it is surrounded by these cards here with the page of pentacles in reverse five of swords in reverse and the four wands so you're making them feel really unstable you're making them feel defeated you're making them feel like they love you even more or that they respect you, they idolize you because you stand your ground or that um, your, your energy is so positive with the sun here and the star and the temperance so positive and you vibrate so high that they feel like they cannot do anything about this right now, that they cannot touch you, they cannot make you feel otherwise. So I feel like this reading is for those Virgos who vibe really really high okay um definitely very attracted to you because the queen of wands is to me a queen of attraction let's see just a little bit more virgo three of swords here is in reverse yeah 
they feel like they would like to heal this connection with you or perhaps you have for some of you you may have some healing energy um hmm. the way you are it makes me feel like you're setting an example okay you're setting an example of how a person should be or how a partner should be or how a friend should be and we've got the Queen of Cups in reverse and the Six of Swords. Look, we've got the King and the Queen. And the Queen is in reverse. So that means, especially if you are the uh, feminine energy, it doesn't matter. Feminine or masculine, we all have both. But I feel like maybe you have stopped caring. You have stopped investing emotionally in this person. And you've, you're on your way out of the door or that you've already walked away from this person but they definitely would like to make peace with you they feel like they need to clarify certain things to you or make you see them in a different light because you're not seeing them right now you're not looking at them right now with the queen of wands looking towards the right while the king of cups is looking towards the left Overall, Virgo, I just feel like your person, you have set an example, really, really good example for this person, to this person, because maybe of the way you handle things, the way you project yourself, um, and just your energy alone, Virgo. They feel like they cannot manipulate you, five of swords here in reverse, they can't do anything to you. Uh, it's almost like you will be unfazed, right? unfazed by the uh, malice or by them trying to hurt you all right virgo this is your reading i'm gonna head on to the second uh, earth sign which is taurus thank you so much for watching Hi Taurus, welcome and we're going to get your reading started right away. We're going to find out how does your person in mind feel about you right now. Spirits and angels, please show me. Three of Cups in reverse at the bottom of the deck. Your person in mind feels suspicious, especially Taurus, if you've been showing to them or on your uh, social media that you're happy and you're taking good care of yourself with the Ace of Cups here. Um, they're suspicious because we've got the Page of Swords here in reverse. They're wondering if this is a front. They're wondering if this is real because we've got the hangman here. So they ponder about your happiness or the way you're projecting your positive energy towards people or it could be just you radiating with positivity that uh, perhaps because of the Ten of Swords in reverse and the Page of Cups in reverse, maybe between you and this person there was some sort of a miscommunication or perhaps your person in mind uh, may be a little bit immature. Um, two pages here. So I feel like Taurus, this person either could be younger than you are or that they could be kind of immature or don't really know how to communicate efficiently or appropriately uh, this person is uh, could be a uh, could be a water sign pisces cancer or a scorpio could also be a libra gemini aquarius piscean or um a leo scorpio can be any sign okay and taurus i feel like again this is the sun is the major arcana the death is also major kind of in reverse. So they are suspicious. Again, with the Page of Swords and the Seven of Wands here, they wonder, your person in mind could be wondering if this is for real. Are you really happy? Um, are you holding grudges towards them still? Are you doing this uh, just to 
push the buttons? Are you doing this out of um, or being vindictive? So I do, I do sense them questioning that. It does feel like with the Ten of Swords here in my verse, both of you may have had an ending or some arguments, disagreement, misunderstandings, and Three of Cups here in my verse can indicate at one, at one point in time between you and this person, um, both of you have socialized together, both of you have had uh, celebrations together, uh, both of you were happy together, Pro probably share uh, a few mutual friends. I mean, this person could be anybody, could be a friend, could be uh, a romantic partner, could be a family uh, member, could be anybody. They feel like with the seven of wands here that you could be protecting yourself from letting them in to your life. Um, and you possibly could be sharing um, your life now, um, positivity, or some of you could be traveling or thinking about traveling, or perhaps for some of you have been posting a lot of um, codes or happy pictures and they're suspicious of it with the page of swords here in my first all right taurus this is your reading i'm gonna head on to uh the next sign for capricorn thank you so much for watching I'm going to shuffle these cards. All right, Capricorn, we're going to get straight to your reading. We're going to find out how does your person in mind feel about you right now? Spirits and angels, please show me. Hierophant at the bottom of the deck. Your person in mind could be feeling that you are somebody really good, a kind person, or that perhaps you have taught them something, they have learned something from you. We've got the Fool here, and the Knight of Pentacles, and the Six of Swords. Your person could be somebody like you are, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, or could be an Aries. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra, any fixed signs. Oh, I'm seeing fire here as well. Fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. I feel like your person with the moon here being the major kind and the fool, it feels like... Okay, so the higher fun and the justice, I feel like you are teaching them a lesson and now they're not very happy about it because maybe the page of wands here in reverse is a messenger maybe they are thinking about reaching out to you or perhaps they have reached out to you and you may be greeting them with silence with the moon here you may not have been replying to the messages or perhaps um, very slow at replying or very little little communication if any at all okay and cap i feel like that makes them really really unhappy they could be feeling that you are teaching them a lesson and plus we've got the wheel of fortune here so wheel of fortune it's a karmic wheel so they feel like you purposely are doing this to teach them a lesson okay and then the six of swords here they feel like they would like to move towards karma water with you they feel like they would like to offer you uh, something something that is of value to you whether it's an apology um, or a gift or uh, a commitment if this is somebody uh, related to your romantic situation and the Aries energy here with the full they feel like they would like to have a new start with you let's start over that kind of an energy and we've got the Queen of Cups here they do care about you they feel deeply for you because the moon is a deep emotion um, 
on the justice making things right they could be feeling like they would like to make things right with you with the wheel of fortune in hopes that your connection with them would head to a different and more positive direction and with the queen of pentacles in reverse this is you they feel like you're ignoring them right now or that you are no longer invested in them perhaps you have liberated yourself from them and teaching by and also teaching them a lesson maybe they feel like your absence your you may have stopped contributing in their life that has made a huge impact on them and that has that could be leading them to feeling like they need to ask for a second chance with the will of fortune here and make things right with you all right capricorn this is your reading i'm gonna head on to another sign i I think the next sign will be yeah, Sagittarius of Fire sign. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you back here again soon. Mm -hmm.